first of all, hello. And now let's get into it. So I assume, like me, you have an Arduino Uno and a CNC V3 Shield, and you want to do something other than just putting on the GRBL software or firmware, whichever it is, and then um, turning this into a laser engraver or a 3D printer or something like that. You want to, say, take in a button press and move one motor forwards or backwards, that sort of thing. Um, but it's quite difficult to find on the internet how the pins from the Arduino directly route onto the CNC V3 shield, or at least I found it to be, that's why I'm doing this. So uh, what do you need? So typically you have this set up, but then you also have a stepper motor driver. This is a DRV8825 and you slot it in nice, it's all compact, that's why this board is so great. But now how do you actually go about controlling this? So. Um, First of all, each of these um, components where you have a stepper motor driver attached into it shares this enable pin on this corner here. That is digital pin number eight, and that gets pulled to an active load uh, when you want to actually drive it. It basically says, yes, you can move that. And then we have two pins which we need to fire for each of these stepper motor drivers to actually move them. You have a step and a direction pin. And these are these last two pins on each of these. So for X, we have step as pin number two and direction as pin number five. For Y, it's three and six, and for Z, it's four and seven. And for this the extruder here, which I assume it's for anyways, doesn't actually route directly onto the Arduino. We're gonna get to, into that later. So each of the pins that I've mentioned already uh, are connectable through pins out here. And this might be so that you can maybe connect something else into it. Maybe this doesn't mount onto the microcontroller you're using, so you take uh, jumpers and stick them in here, and then you can control what you want. So here we have the enable pin, and here we have the X, Y, Z step pins in blue and direction pins in yellow. And similarly here, X, Y, Z step in blue, direction in yellow. And like I said, this A, as you can see here, it's called A, has a similar system here. So A, step, A, direction. So you can route a pin, let's say from over here, route that over here, um, and then control the stepper motor from there. And this A, also these four pins in here, all of these are A step, and all of these are A direction. To continue on with the topic of pins that aren't actually connected to the Arduino, uh, we'll start off here. We have um, the voltage input to the motors. So here it says 12 to 36 volts. I would typically put in 12, but it depends on the, the motors really. If they can go up to 36 volts, you may as well. And then we have these sets of four pins per driver, and these are the outputs to the actual stepper motor. So there's um, two pins per coil within the stepper motor, controlling where it's supposed to be held in place. And then each driver has these six pins. And these define the uh, degree of micro stepping. So one row is live at five volts, and then the other row is um, connected to M0, M1, M2 in the stepper motor driver. And basically, if you bridge the live down to the um, stepper motor um, micro stepping input, then you'll change how far it will step per step, really. So let's say you've bridged all of these and you get a micro stepping of 32, I believe. So if you put in one step from here, the motor will actually only move one thirty-second of a step. And now basically a continuation of pins that aren't connected to the Arduino are pins that are connected, but you can't do anything with them. So obviously there's going to be a couple uh, five volts of grounds. So in here we have a ground next to the enable pin, um, and this entire row of black, that's all ground. And then we have another ground in here next to our 5 volt pin in there. And we have another couple uh, high voltages, so we have 5 volts on this pin here and 3.3 volts in this pin here. And then we also have something which is the reset pin on the Arduino, which we can't do anything about. Well, we can't control it. So we have that here on this reset pin and down here where it says e-stop. Now for the fun bit of pins that you can actually use that don't already have their predefined use uh, within the stepper motor driving system. So first of all we have digital pin 12 which is down here and digital pin 13 down here. And those are also accessible as the 
um, SPN EN, so I guess uh, spindle enable and SPN DEER direction. So top here is uh, digital 12 for the enable and 13 for the direction. And then we have digital pins here in each of the limit switches. So with the limit switch, it's the same pin um, bridge between the two uh, switches here. So for X, these two pins are digital number 9. For Y, these two pins are digital number 10. And for Z, these two pins are digital number 11. So that's all of the standard digital pins, but we have analog pins left. So uh, which ones can we use there? So analog zero comes into contact with this abort pin here. So A0, but that can also be contacted as digital number 14. And then you would go down, A1 on the hold can be contacted also as pin 15. And resume is A2, and again can be contacted as um, digital pin 16. Then we jump back up and this cool enable, this can be accessed, um, so this is A3, that can be accessed as digital pin 17 if you so wish. And finally we can also use the communication pins. So up here we have four communication pins. So there's the I squared C communication of the SDA and SCL and those are a4 and A5 respectively, which can also be contacted using digital 18 and 19. And then finally, if you really want to, you can use the RX and TX pins in here, which can be contacted with digital 0 and digital 1. Um, now, a note about this is that if you are using these, these are on the same network as the USB connection. So if you're sending serial data back and forth between the Arduino and a computer of some sort, then this will interfere with that. This will override it so you'll just get sent random you know, confused letters like when you mix up the board rate between the serial monitor and the Arduino output. So yeah, this can only be used if you're not sending serial data. On an additional note, something which the Arduino developers have done which is quite nice is that this pinout which I've described is not restricted specifically to the Arduino Uno. So if you take here an Arduino Mega, you can take the uh, V3 shield, mount it along here, and the pinout will be identical to the Uno. And to finish off, I've added this image at the end, I'll leave it up for a bit. It's an annotated version of what was found online, because although what it has is very useful, it doesn't actually describe everything that's there. So I've added a couple things, for example, the communication pins and so on. So hopefully this was useful, um, and yeah, uh, enjoy building whatever it is that you're building. Bye.